Hey, what's up guys? It's John from George Stream TV. In this video, I want to show you what you can do if you run into a situation where uh, your device is, you know, you, you're not able to hear any sound at all. You may hear it when the device first boots up, but from there, I mean, if you click on any type of uh, movie, TV show, stream, anything like that, you cannot hear any sound at all. Uh, even if you move around, you know, you won't hear the normal sound that you would hear. It's a really, really easy fix. What you can do is go to settings, go over to advanced, and then what I want to get you to do is go down to where it says digital audio auto detection. Uh, lots of times that's going to be on. So if that's on, turn that off by clicking it. Go down to digital audio output. And then the, the best thing to do would be to choose the HDMI pass through. Um, that typically will fix your issue. I think the main one that causes the issue is the S SPDIF pass through. I think you can use the PCM also, but the best thing to do would just be choose the HDMI pass through. And typically, what that would do, you know, choose that, click OK on your remote, and oh, excuse me, you have to back out once you click that. And then at that point, that should have fixed your problem. Um, so if you see once again digital audio auto detection turned on. Turn that off by clicking OK on your remote. Go to where it says digital audio output. Click OK on your remote. And then change it to HDMI pass-through. And then hit back. And then you'll see that the change is made. And that should fix your problem. So if you have any questions, you can send me an email at droidstreamtv.com or support at droidstreamtv.com. Thanks.